Bruno, Joe, tell me, first of all, Sunday, give us an idea what it was like in the dressing room when you came off that pitch. Always everyone happy. I think it was our best game this season. Uh, to be honest, I think we didn't expect what happened in the first half, in the first 20 minutes. Uh, we gave everything that we had. I think it was so good, so good. Was, we need to keep going with these spirits. I think everyone played very, very well. Their strategy was so good. In the Sergio Rui was everybody so happy in the, this show what is Newcastle. It was, it was so intense, that, that first 20 minutes. I can't think of a time when I've seen a Newcastle team punish another, another side quite so much. Yeah, we want to start uh, fast, uh, like every game. Like every game at the home we want to press high with a lot of energy. But of course, we don't expect to score five goals in 20 minutes. But we took our chance really well. Uh, and the high energy, everywhere in the stadium. That was a, was a great day. Nice atmosphere, it's amazing. Yeah, we, we very pleased the way we perform and with the three points and very important game. Was there any samba in the dressing room? Yeah, yeah. From down there? <laughs> no, Bruno Bueno, he needs to dance again. Love it. <laughs> is it do you feel like, is, is there a bit of uh, Brazilian culture now? Have you, have you brought a bit of that to Newcastle? Yes, I think, yeah. Uh, the way we, we live, uh, we're always positive. We uh, want to keep the smile on our face every time. Uh, I think you have to, to enjoy as well your life. It's not just work. Or that's what we, we try to bring to the team and some music. Mm -hmm. uh, the style of our, our life, uh, the style of life in Brazil. Of course, we respect the guys here and I think that's the most important in your dress room. Everyone respect everyone and everyone work hard and yeah. There is a bit of a Brazilian culture now, isn't there, Newcastle? There's a couple of Brazilian steakhouses have opened up. Have you got the boys to, to try the, the local food yet? Mm, no, not yet to be honest. Just the Spanish guys and the Miggy. <laughs> but yeah, we need to take the guys more more often there. I think he, if we, we get Champions League, I will pay for everyone to go there <laughs> <laughs> to eat our food. It will be a pleasure for me. But yeah, it's a good idea. Do you feel like that's close? Do you feel like Champions League is...? Uh, we cannot say close because we still have seven games in hand and the, it's too much points to... to How many do you think you need to win? To uh, every game. Yeah. We can have to every go game, game by game. Exactly. Of course, we, we close, uh, but... Like the manager say, you have to go game by game. You have to try to win every game. Uh, every game we step on the pitch, we have to try our best to, to win the game, no matter against who. And that's what we want to do from now to end of the, of the end of the season. Well, you know, when you first came here, Joe, things weren't great. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I think we can feel outside uh, where uh, where we go, we can. See the people happy, the fans uh, talk about Champions League, talk about what we're doing uh, to keep the, the good work. So we can feel the the passion, uh, the happiness in the city. So when I talk my my son to school, I see him and people. So yeah, it's nice to, to live this now after difficult times and yeah. It's, uh, it wasn't so much Champions League, it was the worry about dropping into the championship two years ago. Yeah. Uh, and that's the moment we live now, so it's a great feeling, and we are very happy for the for the people, for the fans because they deserve. They always push us to the maximum. They always uh, behind us everywhere we go. They support us, so we're happy to to make them happy now. How good is he to play with? Joe? He, he's amazing. <laughs> uh, <coughs> no, nah, he's, he's a lovely guy, uh, away from the pitch. Uh, on the pitch, he's great. Everyone seeing his quality, uh, what he brings for the team since he arrived. Uh, he elevates every player, so it's nice to have him him here. And I hope yeah, he continue continue to improve as player because he he's, he's so good. Yeah. How do you two feel being here? Do you hear in the stands 
when the fans sing your respective songs? Is your English good enough? Do you? Yeah, yeah I can understand this. <laughs> the song, yeah. What do you What do you think about your magic hat? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> make me happy, make me happy. I like, I like the support of the fans with me, with my wife, with my, my dad is uh, popular. He is famous. My dad is so <laughs> famous here. Wherever he is, he, the people ask him, oh, you are Bruno Daddy. Can I have a photo with you? And yeah. And now he started to sign, to sign some shirt as well, like GG, you know, <laughs> GG39. So he, like he is so good. Uh, we are so happy. Uh, I'm happy in the city, happy in the club. So when you're happy in your personal life, you are happy in your job as well. So, who was first with the hair, by the way? Whose idea was that? Was yeah. the idea, uh, Joelito idea? Yeah. <laughs> I started to do this for since I arrived here. I think I have my blonde hair. You've had a few, haven't you, styles? Yeah. Then I put different colors. Sometimes the people don't like, but <laughs> don't matter. And when he come, so after two months, I think, I asked him to do it as well. So then we start to do it together. Anyone and else? Foremost, yeah. No. Anthony Gordon's quite blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's different. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> He's natural, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not natural. <laughs> do you think you two will ever play together for the Brazil team? I hope so. I would like. I would like, and I think he, Joe is there um, I think he's in the, the best moment in his career. Uh, <coughs> happy for him, happy what he's doing for the club. He can play midfield, winger, uh, number nine, so uh, no, no. He, he, he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not nine, he said, but he can play everywhere. And he, it's complicated to say deserve because I'm not the manager, but I think he's doing very well. Just talk me, tell me about Thursday, Everton, how big is that one? I mean, you both both played there last year, yeah. Goodison Park. It's a really hard place to go, even when Everton is struggling. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to, to play there. I think it, it's a key game for, for us, for them as well. They are in a battle for the relegation and the, we are in a battle for the Champions League. So this is going to be a big game, a big game. And the, we know how difficult it is it. But we need to take the challenge and go there and they try to, to get the, the three points. It's always a physical game, isn't it? Yeah, it's a difficult place to go. Uh, like the teams when come to St. James Park, there is, it's difficult as well. But I think we are ready. Uh, last season, we lost the game at the end and have to make sure we, we do better this, this, this year. So... Everyone's focused on the game and I hope we can get the three points there. Obrigado. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.